of all, I love your shoes so much. Thank you. How old are you, Tyler? I'm 11 years old. So it looks like you have the violin. When did you yes. start playing violin? Well, I started playing the violin when I was seven and a half. And what made you get into playing violin? Um, I wanted to start playing the violin because I was being bullied in school. Oh. Oh, man. Do you know why you were being bullied? It's because I had cancer. I almost died. One day we were out to dinner, and we said, something doesn't look right with Tyler. He turned kind of pale. So a mother's instinct said, let me get him to the emergency room. That was like, let's take some blood work, and we'll be back. The doctors came in, said, yeah, he does have cancer. And, uh... It was the worst day of my life. The doctors treated me with chemotherapy. When I lost my hair, I was really sad and embarrassed at the same time to go to school. They used to make fun of me and laugh at me because I was different. They would spread rumors to say that um, my cancer was contagious and they all wanted to stay away from me. One day, Tyler saw a flyer at his school, and it said, after school program, free violin lessons. He was like, Mom, I want to do it. Mom, I want to do it. I was like, but no one in our family plays an instrument. What in the violin? I just didn't want to be the kid with cancer. So now I'm the kid who plays the violin. By the way, before I start, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling really proud of myself. Oh. And if you don't mind me asking, Tyler, how is your health now? Well, I've been in remission for almost four years. You know what? You are an extraordinary young man. We hear too many stories about people being bullied, but I can tell you one thing, most people are bullied because they're better than the people who bully them. You know that? And I think you have such an amazing talent, such a personality, and I would like to say something on your behalf to the bullies.
Gaza.